you want to learn how to make a shirt just like this, then keep watching this video because I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. Anyway, let's get started. So here's what you need. A shirt. I got my shirt from a website called Shirtspace. This is the Bella Canvas. This is the mauve color, which I love this color. It's basically like my brand color. And then a transfer. So transfer I'm using today, as you can see, daughter of the king. How to get these transfers. This is what took me years to figure out. And I'm gonna tell you guys in 30 seconds. What this is called is a DTF transfer. And basically companies will print these and ship them to you. You can buy a printer, but they're very expensive. So if you're just starting out, I would recommend ordering transfers. So how would you make these is you go on Canva and you can design your own logos or shirt designs. Some people use Kittle. Um, I haven't used Kittle. I've always loved Canva. You can also use Procreate. A lot of creative people use Procreate. I use it a little bit, but I'm not super good at it. So I kind of stick to Canva, which is what I know. This design I made four years ago and I'm just finally making these shirts. It took me a very long time, a very long time to figure out how to get these transfers. I don't believe in gatekeeping and I want you guys to be able to do this yourself. So that's why I'm telling you. I got this from a company called D Bold Tees. Link them in the description below. They were amazing. I've done it so far from three different companies and D Bold Tees is my favorite, but it's totally user preference. However, their customer service is great. They already reached out to me when I had issues with my prints and they made sure that all of my prints were super clear and that they would be worth my money. And they are the most affordable company. So win-win. They have a $5 shipping rate. That's a flat rate. And their gang sheets, which are like the really long ones where you jam pack all your designs are the most affordable that I could find. And this is not a sponsored video. I'm truly just sharing with you guys the best company ever. So you don't need this, but I recommend a t-shirt roller. I got these from Amazon for $3 for a pack of like eight. And the last thing you're gonna need is a heat press. And today I'm gonna be using a Cricut heat press. But if you're just starting out, I highly recommend to buy a heat press that's actually like a clamshell, just because the Cricut is really hard to kind of navigate. So. Let's get started. Really quick before we press this shirt, I do wanna tell you guys, I have a video teaching you how to create designs in Canva. So if you're kind of newer and you wanna learn how to create designs, there is a video that I show like how I create my shirt designs. So go ahead and watch that video. If you need to learn how to create your designs, you'll learn how to actually make this. Um, I will showing you how to actually export the file from Canva two D bold tees, but it's so easy. Literally all you do is download it as a PNG, click transparent background and make sure that your toggle is all the way up for image size because that's gonna make it the most clear and not blurry. Okay, so my shirt is a poly cotton blend. And so I'm only setting my heat press to 275 degrees. If you go too hot, it won't stick. I'm gonna lay my shirt down. I don't have a heat mat, I'm using a towel. So you wanna take your heat press and just lightly run it on your shirt and you're right now getting rid of all the moisture. Once you have your shirt pressed, you're gonna let it cool down. You're gonna use your t-shirt ruler and you're gonna set it to your shirt. So basically I'm gonna just line mine up with the collar. I do like to try to make sure my shirt is centered. And you're gonna line it up with the center. Now, if it does have these gaps, what I recommend doing is lining it up and then focusing on these corners to be in line with the line of the shirt. And then you're gonna take your design and you want to fold it in half because right now we're gonna find the middle. So I like to make these pretty much even. As you can see with the font I use, they're not gonna be even but they're pretty much centered on each other, which is what I'm looking for. And I just press a line over here. So when I flip it, I can see where the middle is and it gives me like a little bit of space to line it up with this arrow. And then we're gonna press it. I'm going to press my heat press down and I'm gonna hold it for 15 seconds with pressure. This Cricut press does require your body weight pressure. With a clamshell heat press, it has its own pressure settings. So this one's a little bit different than what you might have, but that's just how this one works. So 15 seconds go by, and now we let it sit and we need to wait for it to cool down. Okay, we've let our shirt cool down. We're gonna go ahead and peel it. 
I promise it's scary, but it's fine as long as you did the right temperature and time setting. Okay, so now we're ready for our second press. You're gonna grab parchment paper, or you can use a Teflon sheet, and you're gonna do one more press for 15 seconds, same temperature. You guys did it, and now you have your shirt completed, ready to wear. You could, of course, wash it if you want to. I recommend turning your shirt inside out, washing it on cold, tumble dried on a low setting. Looks so good. And I can't wait to see what your guys' shirts look like. And let me know if you had any questions in the comments below. I would love it if you guys supported me and subscribed to my channel. It would mean so much to me. And stay tuned for my next video.